Hey everyone, here's a question from exercise 12.1, 16th question. This is last question from this exercise. Chapter is ratio and proportion of class 6. The question is, present age of father is 42 years and of his son is 14 years. Find the ratio of, we have four questions here. First question is, present age of father to the present age of son. So here, they have given the age of father which is 42 years they have given the age of son which is 14 years and here the first question we have to find out the ratio of the father to the age of his son present age of the son so let's see how to find out this so here's a first question so the ratio is the present age it's given the question, so I'm not writing it down. The percentage they have given, which is 42 years of father. So father's age is 42 years. So the required ratio will become, this is required ratio. First is father, right? They have they first they are asking for the ra father's age ratio, which is 42. So 42 is to, and the son's age, which is 14 years. So 42 is to 14 will be the required ratio. But this ratio is not in reduced form. We have to make it reduced. For that, we have to cancel them. For that, I'm going to convert this into a fraction. So 42 upon 40. Now try to reduce this. So I'm going to cancel this in two tables. Two sevens are 14. And two 20 ones are. And next, seven ones are. And seven threes are. So here we got three by one. So the ratio will become three is to one. So this is first question. Now second one they are asking is age of father to age of son when son was 12 years old. So they are talking here the son age when son was 12 years old what will be the father's age. That is the first thing we have to find out in second question. So here suppose son age is son age is 12 years. In the question we know that when son was 14 years his father was 42. Now we have to find out what will be the father's age if the son age is 12 year. So it is 2 year less right. So father age will become. So father's age will be equal to. So from this 42 I am going to subtract 2 years which will be 40. So 40 years. So when son was 12 years the father age is 40 years. And why I have subtracted 2 here? Because the present age is 14 and here in the question they are asking 12 years. So 2 years less than the present age. That's why I am subtracting 2 here. Now we have to find out the ratio here. So required ratio will be required ratio will be equal to first is father's age. So father's age is 40 is 2 and the son's age here is 12. So 40 is to 12. Now we are going to convert this into fraction. So this will become 40 upon 12. Cancel this in 2 table. 2 6 are 12. 2 20 is a 40. Now we are going to cancel this again in 2 table. 2 3 is a 6. 2 10 is a 20. So here we got 10 upon 3. So the ratio will become 10 is to 3. So this is second question. Then the next one. So in, second question, in the third question they are asking age of father after 10 years to the age of son after 10 years. So both ages are like after 10 years. So we know present age is 42. 10 years means we have to add 10 to both the age of father and son. So let's find out that. So when we do that, father's age will become, this is after 10 years, right? So father's age will be 42 plus 10, which will become 52. 52 years. Similarly, son's age will be, son's age is, son's age is now 14. So 14 after 10 years will be 14 plus 10, which will be 24. So 24 year. Right? Now we have to find out the ratio. So required ratio will be, will be equal to 52 is to 24. I'm going to convert back into fractions. So this will become 52 upon 24. Now cancel this in two table, two twenty six are and two twelve are. We can cancel this again in two uh, in two table. Two six are twelve and two thirteen are twenty six. So here we got thirteen upon six. So the ratio will become thirteen is to six. This is the answer for third question. Now the next one. So the next question is saying age of father to the age of son when father was 30 years old. So we know the current age is 42. So when father was 30 years means we have to subtract here 12 years. So 
let's erase this so from the question we know father's age is 30 so father's age is 30 years so when father's age is 30 years what will be the son's age so here from the current age if I subtract 12 I'll get 30 yes that is 42 minus 12 when I'll do I'll get 30 so they're talking about 12 years back so 12 years back means the current age of son is 14 years so from 14 we have to subtract 12 I hope it's clear why I'm subtracting 12 because the age of father is 30. So we have to subtract 12 from this. So son's age will be 14 years minus 12 years which will be 2 years. So when father was 30 years, son age was 2 years. So let's find out the ratio. So required ratio will be, so required ratio is equal to 30 is to 2 convert this into fraction so this will become 30 upon 2 cancel this 2 ones are 2 15s are. so here we'll get 15 upon 1 so the ratio will be 15 is to 1 that's it so that's it i hope this question is clear in case you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching